Uh, an amazing mixture of uh, poignant memories uh, of, of the sacrifice people made and, you know, going to a wreath laying ceremony uh, beside the water in a desolate, empty landscape and then moving on from that to the lively uh, community of Stanley and, and the people out in the settlements and seeing that there is actually a, a real growth and a real um, movement forward of a society. Uh, I mean, the Falkland Islanders uh, don't have a big enough uh, school to have their own sixth form. So before 1982, they used to send their children away to board, mostly in Argentina and British schools there. But, of course, things changed after that. Since 1982, um, they tried one or two other places, but from about the late 80s, they've picked on uh, Peter Simmons, which is the only state sixth form college with boarding. And so if you get five Cs or better at GCSC in the Falkland Islands, and you want to, uh, they'll send the, you up here uh, to study A levels mostly. And it's an interesting point, actually, of course, that they then go on most of the university and then they nearly all go back. Uh, and it, it's quite um, um, a brave thing on the Falklanders' part, if you think about it, to, to send their children abroad to be educated. Uh, you know, might they see the bright lights and stay away? But the very few that do not come back are actually more made up for by the ones that go back and take a partner or a spouse with them. Uh, and, in fact, there's quite, it was quite odd, really, for me. Every time I spoke to anybody in any sort of... Uh, position of authority or, 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 or if you like, uh, a manager if you, uh, or something like that in the island. It was an ex-Peter Simmons student. It's quite a responsibility, actually.